Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to configure distributed availability groups um, in server 2019. The distributed availability groups which simply called as a DAG is introduced from SQL Server 2016. So what exactly DJ is linking one availability group with another availability group is called distributed availability group. So here you are seeing one picture, right? So here I'm going to uh, simulate this situation, uh, this scenario. So I'm ha having two clusters, which is uh, another one cluster, another cluster in cluster. I have configured AG1, another AG2. I'm going to configure, uh, going to con just creating a link okay between uh, first availability group and second availability group uh, in between uh, in this this is acting as a primary and which is called as a forwarder this is called as a primary and which is also called as a global primary i'm having five systems one is active directory node 1 and node 2 are one you know, one uh, having one cluster so if you see here go and fellow cluster these two are part of one cluster and node 3 and node 3 and node 4 are part of the cluster i am going to create one availability group between these node 1 and node 2 another node availability group with node 3 and node 4 and i am going to link between these uh, this availability group and this availability group let's see that so for dig there is no I mean, uh, there is no GUI, so we need to run that as manually. So if you see here, if the listener is already created, okay, so we will use this simple commands. We need to create the listener with the extension called listener IP is equal to all. So I need to execute, I need to create an endpoint with this command, okay. Copy the end, uh, this URL and create all the replicas which are part of the DAG. I have can uh, so instead of switching to uh, different multiple virtual machines, consider node one and node two are part of one uh, cluster, and node three and node four are another cluster. So I need to create the endpoint in all machines, and also I am having same user account. Okay, same instant user account for all the servers which are part of DAG. So just past copy it, execute it. Okay, done. Go to node 2, new query, click execute. Go to node 3, copy and execute it. Done, new query, paste it, execute. So it was done. First point was done. I'm closing all these windows. Okay, so and, and also mainly you need to add this parameter. So whenever we uh, try to create a listener using um, GUI, you, you will not get this option. Okay, you need to add this option and you need to create it all on the uh, replicas. So if your account is not having sufficient permissions and not part of the SQL server, so you need to add that Windows login into SQL server and need to grant the end, uh, per, uh, end point uh, connect permission on HDR endpoint. Since my account is having sysadmin privileges, so I cannot, uh, I mean, uh, you cannot do that. Why? Because by default, I'm having sys all the privileges when I am sysadmin. Now I need to configure, um, uh, like uh, between node 1 and node 2 AG okay so come here so here and take the full backup done uh, backup done so again the go back take the log backup done so now copy paste it here so this is the primary replica so yeah so what I'm doing here, I'm creating one availability group called AG1. For what database? AG DB1. Okay. On the replica is node 1. This is the TCP IP. This is uh, instance name. This is domain, um, domain name. Failover automatic. So just replace with the uh, letters. Okay. So where node 2 and the node 2 and abc.com endpoint. This is the endpoint URL. Okay. So automatic and everything. Sim click execute. 
okay sorry and this is the master right oh come on come on yeah now click execute so it was done now go back refresh the instance and go back to the always on and see that see ag primary is there availability see no availability uh, in availability replicas node 2 is showing some red mark okay so right click on that so here you need to select join to availability group click connect click ok so database will get added just come here and refresh so so it was done node 2 was added go to databases this was done okay now go back to the node 2 come here refresh here ag2 availability replicas is fine see uh, database was not added right click on that click join availability group click ok see i will get this error t doesn't doesn't make exist okay so here uh, come back and here you need to add this command okay copy this uh, go to node 2 okay no problem click execute yeah it was done so refresh it see this was added now go back to the second replica see the database what added successfully this was done i am closing this window and this one as well so now go back to this now i need to create the listener in the primary replica so go to node 1 and node 1 and click new query click execute and i am creating listener with ag listener l1 okay and for ag1 availability group click execute uh, once this is done yeah this was done so if you already configured a availability group and everything so you need to con uh, uh, i mean alter the endpoint this is uh, so i already told you right so listener ip is equal to all so you once you already uh, uh, is if, we, if your environment is already set up then for listener you need to execute this step okay uh, this was done now we need to configure the same in the another node 1 and node 3 so right click here i am in node 3 i am connecting node 3 click ex new query click execute yeah this was done as uh, refresh the instance so go to availability group uh, availability group primary ag2 see the replicas see node 4 is not yet joined yeah it was jo it was joined successfully okay so replicas are good availability databases not yet added i know why this is empty database as of now so here i need node 3 right so refresh it error replicas not yet added databases okay so we'll see there is no no database not yet added so this is simply empty database okay so come back now this one this one we already did right so i need to grant this replica uh, this command okay uh, go to node 1 new query yeah this was done okay now select node 4 send done done Availability group, availability group, group. Yeah, this was done and everything is good, right? Uh, yeah, I have done. I am closing all this. So I need to uh, create a listener for this. So I am going to create this one. Go to uh, node 1, connect and node 3, which is another replica, create execute.
so it listener creation will take time because it has to be created in the active directory dns and everything right so it will take time so refresh and go to availability databases primary uh, listener yeah this was yes created so now it is very clear as of now uh, everything was done so node 1 and node 2 are one part node 3 and node 4 are one part now what i am going to do i am going to create the rev distribution availability group see here i am creating availability group with distributed this is just a link okay with ag1 and ag2 just copy this uh, node 1 is a i told you that node 1 is a global primary you select the global primary paste it and click execute yeah this was done so refresh that instance uh, all availability availability groups see distributed this was created expand this see ag2 was not yet highlighted okay see database also not yet added okay so no problem so once this was done so just now you need to go glow the global forward global forward is which is another uh, I mean primary with another part this is the primary currently right in the another replica so I'm moving to this one and click execute yeah this was done now refresh it uh, refresh is that see this was done this was done okay uh, now node 1 node 1 db dag is also there node 3 see this is also there see this is also there okay do, now so if you create any database uh, and will uh, after adding to that availability everything will be again added so like i'm adding one test one server okay so otherwise you can add text database okay i have added so i have taken full backup full backup i'm going to add this add database so next select next next automatic seeding next next finish so refresh it one is so database is got it refresh it database is also added now go to node 3 refresh it set so database also added now node 3 so node 4 so database is all got added it means whatever i mean we have done it been successful so i hope uh, if you have one more thing what i need to uh, confirm you is i already told you um, distributed ag means linking one availability group with another primary uh, primary uh, with another availability group so how communication will happening means through listeners so if you see in the distributed DAG, the listeners which are part of the availability groups are the become the replicas in distributed DAG. see ag1 ag2 so ag1 is what here listener see ag1 is listener here see so distributed availability groups are linking one availability group with another availability group using listeners okay so i am going to give the scripts okay so you can execute the you can configure the same or you can replace with your values and test it and let me know i hope you may like this video thank you bye